Hello my lovely Geminis. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So we are going to be doing your January mid-monthly reading. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and they are on sale right now. You can get a recorded video reading, two questions for $15.00 five questions for $30 or Zoom readings for $45 and everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is in the description box below. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my lovely Geminis. Please need the messages that need to be heard the very most. Please come through. May they please find those who need to hear them. All right, Gemini, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you guys. You have the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy. You have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Wands. This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I feel like there was something that was very draining on you in the past. You have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you did your best to to manage things, to keep things afloat. You guys could have had a person that was very draining on you, whether that was like financially draining or just draining on your energy, right? They could have been mentally draining, spiritually draining. I feel like it took you a while to see that here. Or maybe not to see it, but to admit it and acknowledge it. Sometimes when we, what is that expression? Love is blind, right? Sometimes we can you know, fail to see something for a while because our feelings kind of get in the way. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. I feel like right now you guys are really focused on your home, your family, yourself, your goals. To me, this has a lot of self-care vibes. You know, she can take care of everything around her, but she can do that because she takes care of herself first, right? So I really like that energy for you. I think you're being very um, deliberate with where you put your time, effort, and energy. I also feel like with this Ace of Cups here in the heart space, it's like ready to open up to new love. The Empress feeling very good about yourself. Between the Empress and the Queen of Wands, like you're feeling very attractive. You're feeling very good about yourself. People are seeing you in that way. Um, just really kind of taking your power back here and I really like this for you. So we're gonna take a look at the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with and see what their energy is. So you can be experiencing a big energy shift because I feel like up to this point when you're dealing with that energy in the past, I feel like you were really down. Things are very frustrating. Things were, you know, not going easily, not being running smoothly. Yeah, we got the seven of pentacles here in the reverse. So to me, something, you just feel like something isn't worth investing into any longer or you're questioning whether something is worth investing into. You could feel like it's just a waste of time. Got the four of swords at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy. Well, for their general overall energy, I should say. Yeah, I feel like you're not in communication with this person or you're taking a break or some kind of separation. And I feel like the, the more that you're separated from this person, the more clear things become for you. But they're feeling very blocked out here. I feel like they do want to spark things back up. They want to communicate. They want another chance here. They're coming in with this Three of Pentacles energy of wanting to work on things, wanting to get along. But I also feel like there's been some things that have been revealed, maybe some secrets that have been revealed that they are wanting forgiveness from with you here, okay, with this Three of Swords in reverse. I think some of those secrets could have been whatever came to the light was hard for you to accept. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why you've put space and distance between the two of you, why you guys are on this break or separation or why you've walked away. Take it how it resonates. I feel like they are wanting to heal things. But for you, I feel like you're very skeptical about whether that is a good idea. The Page of Swords in the reverse is being skeptical, and I feel like they know that. That's why it's showing up here. The Seven of Wands, it could feel like you are standing your ground. The Seven of Wands can be a card of conviction. So that's something that they're thinking about how they can get you to lower your defenses or let them in. The Temperance card here in the reverse, I feel like they could be losing a little bit of patience or getting very frustrated is what that feels like to me. 
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's pouring down rain outside. I think it's very peaceful and sounds very pretty, but I hope it's not too distracting. It's, it's pretty loud. But we have the Two of Swords here in the reverse for their true intentions. I feel like they want to change your mind. They want to get you to change your mind here, Gemini. But I feel like that's going to be difficult to do because it's not that you don't have love for this person, but the more space that you have from them, the, the more these realizations are setting in for you of how much easier things are without this. We have these six of pentacles in the reverse for their action. And the thing is, it's like they want you to change your mind. They're getting very frustrated that you're not. I feel like they do want to. It's like, yeah, let's get along. Yeah, let's work on things. I want your forgiveness. Let's heal things. But when it comes down to what their actions are, they're still not willing to put the equal effort in. They're still not willing to really give to this in the way that it would take for this to actually get healed, for you guys to actually work through this. So it's like a lot of talk and no action to back it up. Let's clarify some things. Oops, something flipped around. And yeah, we got the Ace of Cups here with this Queen of Pentacles. You know, I feel like you're finally given some of that love that you've been given to this, some of that energy that you've been giving to this, and you're putting it towards yourself or towards your goals, your dreams, your family, um, you know, your home, that kind of an energy. And I feel like you're really feeling that you are really feeling very fulfilled from where you are right now. And I feel like that is speaking volumes to you. You have the King of Cups in the reverse. It's what's causing you to want to um, close. Hello, sir. Can you guys, can you say hi to Apollo? Get down. Thank you. He just wanted to come up and say hi, I guess. All right. That's why you guys are staying closed off to this person here. Or having your guard up to them. They're trying to get in and they feel like you're blocking them out. I just feel like you're guarded. The Four of Pentacles here. I don't feel like you're changing your mind here. I feel like you're shielding your heart. In the traditional Rider Waite deck, there's one pentacle over the head and one directly over the heart. That means the head and heart are in perfect alignment. Um, so I do feel like your head and heart are getting on the same page. I feel like for a while your head knew that this wasn't maybe what was best for you, but your heart was still kind of holding on. But I feel like your heart is coming. It's catching up to your head now. As well as I do feel like with the pentacle that he's typically holding right over his heart, it is like over his heart like a shield. I feel like that too. I feel like you're ready to protect yourself because you're in a new, you know, stepping into a very new positive energy, feeling good, feeling confident, feeling abundant, you know, feeling creative, feeling passionate. And you're not, you know, you're wanting to protect that. You're wanting to protect this, this energy. Tell me about this queen of, or tell me about this. I don't really feel the need to clarify that. Tell me about this seven of wands down here. We got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And it's interesting because you have the Two of Pentacles up here. So I do. I feel like they're having a hard time. And that's a little bit of like a... I'm not saying this person's an energy vampire. But that is a sign that somebody is draining your energy when you guys separate. And all of a sudden you start feeling so much better. And things start really turning around for you. But for them it's like things are really, really falling apart. Because they were really feeding on your energy. Really holding on to that. So... I feel like that's one of the things here is things are starting to feel very overwhelming. They are feeling like they don't have a good handle on things. I also feel like it's them wanting you to change your mind here as well. The temperance card and the world cards. The temperance card is reverse. I feel like that's what they're getting impatient with is because you are trying to close things out here. And they were expecting to already kind of be back in or to already have a second chance with you here. They didn't expect you to kind of freeze them out like this for so long. Or to not give in to them, I guess I should say. You know, we have the Queen of Pentacles. They see that you're investing all this time, effort, and energy that you used to invest into them, into yourself now, into your goals, into your dreams. Tell me about this Two of Swords here in the reverse. You have the Sun card. So the Sun kind of illuminates things for us. And I feel like that's something that's being illuminated for them is that maybe you're not going to change your mind. And this could be the first time that they are really like taking it seriously or really realizing that it may not be like it has in the past. Tell me about this. Oh, I didn't get to finish. Six of Cups in the reverse. Wow. Yeah, that you may not be willing to go back to the past. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles here in the reverse. You have the King of Wands and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person is is communicating that they are ready to take action, but when it comes down to it, it's still not going to be equal. So even if they are willing to, you know, even if they are willing to do some action or put some effort in it's still not going to be equal but that is what i have for you guys 
If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling your personals, or Patreon, all of that is in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.